G'day lawnies, it's Matt Dorn from Lawn Porn. Get your lawn on. Today we're going to review this little beauty here, a Protea 17 inch mower. Get your lawn on. Well, first things first about the Protea, I knew about Protea for many years and I knew that they made very good cylinder mowers and when I had an opportunity to review one I couldn't say no to that opportunity but you know I went into it with open eyes and that's very important. Very quick history lesson is that the design is basically a Scott Bonner design. Scott Bonner sold to Rover, Rover sold to somebody else and then Protea bought the license and then they make these beauty. Now the first thing I noticed about it, it was very stable on the ground was very easy to control. I was a bit worried about the handles being sideways than the usual Scott Bonner, oh, I don't know, towards you I guess you could say. Um, I thought I'd be lacking a bit of control but you know what it was actually better. Why it was better to have the handles to the side is you can control uh, where you're going with your lines a lot better. The mower just sits a lot better on the ground, it's nice and heavy, it's easy to control and just a light little push with the handles to the side it's better on your wrists it's just easier to maneuver up and and having that clutch uh, at your hands as well rather than having to bend down to turn off the the reel is a real added bonus to the system and it makes it such a pleasurable mowing experience so let's rip straight into a mow that's probably the best way to show you how it operates and how it works. The Protea that I've got is a 17 inch mower. It's the base model. It's got six blades and it mows between 5 and 30 millimetres. As you can see it mows like an absolute dream. It's nice and easy to control. As I mentioned before it's got those handles to the side and I think that's an added bonus to this mower. The mowing experience is also enhanced by having the clutch at your fingertips. The metal catcher is a nice solid construction and will do well, but do realise that in use, when you bump into things, you'll get scratches and dents. The six blade reel comes sharpened and as you can see, it does an awesome cut. A new mower bought from Protea Turf Equipment will come set up totally adjusted and ready to go. Now these mowers come in at $1999 which sounds like a lot of money and it is but considering uh, if you go a second hand Scott Bonner for say $500 you could easily spend about $500 fixing up the frame uh, a couple of hundred dollars three hundred dollars or so on the engine and quite a lot of money on sharpening blades and replacing uh, bottom blades so when you factor in all the things that you could do to get your second hand Scott Bonner up to scratch and sorry guys for increasing the price of those because of the lawn porn popularity it's probably a lot better to go something like a new Protea uh, which is I would say better than my SP33 by a long shot but also it's backed by service parts and a warranty from all mower spares. Now speaking about all mower spares they have a promotion for the month of February. If you buy something from their store you go into the draw to win this pink Protea which is quite lovely. So by going into the shop allmowerspares.com.au and buying something a dollar from every sale during the month of February will go towards the McGrath Foundation so it's also supporting a great charity. Well, the Briggs & Stratton engine, well, we know what their reputation's like. They make excellent engines, and this one is a beauty. The split rear roller makes turning a breeze. I have a flat area, so I have smooth rollers on my mower, but you can also get rubberized if you have inclines in your lawn area. Well, this mower came together really nicely took me about four minutes. As you can see, I'm really, really happy to get my lawn on with Protea. Love this feature too. 
that's enclosing the circular bit that goes towards the chains. Normally on a Scott Bonner that's where the clutch would be, but we've got it up here now, much better position. The adjustment knob was a little bit of a disappointment. It's plastic, it's durable, but um, yeah, something from George Bond Mods or Kieran Probert as an aftermarket item in brass, that would really set this off. But still, it works and I uh, couldn't see any real problems with it. Well, I'll tell you what, this Protea, I give it a nine and a half out of 10. I reckon the only let down was the adjustment knob, but like I said, it's durable and it works. This uh, mower, Brett, um, Brett's the owner of all mower spares. I'm not giving the mower back, mate, sorry. I know it's a loaner, but uh, I think you'll be pretty happy that uh, I'm gonna make this part of the uh, lawn pawn stable and I'm gonna be buying it from you, mate, so I'll have to talk to you about that. I ran a little bit of a competition, uh, Bonnie Morris, she uh, gave the uh, name Tia, so it's a Tia, and uh, it's the matriarch of the uh, Lawn Porn Ensemble, so fantastic mower guys, um, 1999 bucks from All Mower Spares, go check it out at allmowerspares.com.au, uh, if you type Protea into the search on that site you'll find them, and wow, what a fantastic uh, mower. Uh, like I said, nine and a half out of ten, couldn't really fold it. If you bought a second hand mower for 500 and spent a whole heap of fixing it up, it soon could make $2,000 quite easily. Where this one's brand new, it's got a warranty, the parts are available, and the service is available from all mail spares, so it really is a, is a wins the situation hands down. This was part of our holiday, picking up this mower and uh, chatting to all mower spares. So I've made a little bit of a ending to the video, some shots of our trip and um, some shots of getting the mower and things like taking it to our sponsored guys, uh, Brendan's place in Chiltern and Victoria. Uh, so the first mower with it was with a, with a Kaikuya lawn. Damn fly. So it's been a long day here today at Lawn Porn. I've really enjoyed making this video. I hope you really like it. And yeah, have a look at some of our shots from our trip picking up the mower. It was sure a lot of fun. It looks bigger when they're new. I, was say, yeah. Yeah. I thought about the 20 inch for a while, but my yard doesn't really need a 20 inch for a start. Yeah. My SB33 is a 16. This is a 17, so it's one inch wider. So for a little while, my lines will go a little bit, a little bit funny. I don't like it that I've scratched it already. <laughs> but I'll blame somebody. That's that's, <laughs> that's what usually happens. We rise so high above the rest, so close your eyes.
been a long day here today at Lawn Porn shooting this video, so I hope you liked the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and click the circle below to become a subscriber.